Hi, in this episode of Speed Source USA, we're going to be talking about how to get the maximum performance out of your tires. In order to get the maximum performance out of your tires, you need to have the correct air pressure as well as alignment. And uh, there are a number of other factors that need to be considered, such as spring rates, shocks, uh, sway bars, all those other things. We'll be talking about those in future episodes. How do you tell when you have the correct pressure and alignment? By using a probe type tire parameter. This tool determines the temperature of the surface of a tire by a metal probe that's inserted in the tread surface. We do not recommend using an infrared parameter because the readings can be inconsistent. These two parameters are from Longacre. The difference is, is this is a single reading parameter, it reads only one temperature, whereas this one over here actually reads all three temperatures of the, each tire and then records those temperatures and uh, so you can refer back to them later. This one will store uh, 10 sets of temperatures. It also has a built-in um, stopwatch function. If you, have, if you use this single reading type, have two people do it so one can be taking the temperatures while the other one is recording them. You need to record the temperatures as quick or take the temperatures as quickly as possible because the tire temperatures will equalize real quickly. Uh, your tires have to be up to operating temperature before you take the uh, temperature reading. So uh, either use a skid pad or have your driver make five or six hot laps and come in into the hot pit. Uh, make sure you do the readings as close to the track as possible and as quickly as possible because the tire temperatures will cool off and equalize real quickly. So uh, starting at the right front tire, you want to take three readings, one in the outside edge, one in the middle, and one on the inside edge. put the probe in at a, an angle, about a 45 degree angle, because some racing tires are very thin in the tread area, and if you poke it straight in, you might give yourself a flat tire. Uh, next, we're going to the right rear tire. What you want to do is move around the car in a clockwise direction and do it the same every time. This set of temperatures right here is off of the right front tire. This 125 is the inside temperature. The 107 is the middle, and the 76 is the outside edge. And what this is showing is that there's too much negative camber in this tire, or the top of the tire is tilted too far toward the center of the car, so that this side of the tire is rubbing harder on the track surface, making the tire temperature higher here. So what we need to do is straighten it up a little bit and take some of the negative camber out of it. If the outside edge of the tire was hotter than the inside edge, then that means there's not enough negative camber or it has positive camber and it's tilted this way too far, so we'd have to straighten it up this way. Now, if the two outside edges of the tire were the same temperature, but the center was higher, that means we'd have too much air pressure in the tire and we need to lower it. If, it, if the center temperature was lower than the outside temperatures, then there's not enough air in the tire, so we'd have to increase the tire pressure. You want to make those changes in relatively small increments, probably two pounds uh, of air pressure, and then when you change the air camber, do it maybe in half degree increments. If you need to get a starting point for your alignment or your pressures, uh, talk to your tire manufacturer or your tire distributor Sometimes their engineers will be at the track and they're an excellent source of information for alignment and pressures. Uh, this process can be somewhat time consuming, but it'll pay big dividends in uh, reduced lap times. 